Hey guys, welcome back to the Struggleville YouTube channel. Got an echo in here. You're in the shower with me. How long have you been waiting for that? Alright, so we're doing something a little bit different today. I have to fix my shower valve here. Um, it is a Fister and having a little problem with the hot water, so I want to show you guys how to replace this. So if anyone in the future has a similar problem, hopefully they're doing a Google or YouTube search and we can help them out with fixing this. Um, Pretty much this works for, or this is the same principle for any single handle uh, shower valve, shower faucet, whatever. Um, there's only one main moving part, it's the cartridge, it's the guts of the valve itself. And that's what's probably gone bad in this case. And just to explain exactly what's going on with mine is I have no hot water. So as this moves to the right, the cold water starts coming on. And as we get to somewhere about there, you'd start feeling the water get warmer, and then all the way up would be full hot, no cold water. And my problem didn't just happen overnight. It slowly became where you'd have to be farther down and farther down, because if you turned it all the way up, the water would just completely stop. It was like turning the valve off. No water, no hot, no cold, no nothing. So I'd slowly have to back it up a little bit to get hot water and back it up a little bit to get hot water. Finally got to a point where the valve was somewhere in that position and it would turn off as soon as I passed this right here. So all I could get was cold water, no hot water at all. So we're going to replace the cartridge and hopefully that fixes it. It's a really easy process. You should really only need two tools, an uh, Allen wrench and a screwdriver. So it's anyone can do it. If you run into a same or any kind of problem with your shower, first thing I would do is check to see if it is something that's a plumbing problem with the whole house or is it isolated to just the one fixture. So in the case of this, check your sink, see if you have hot and cold water as you should at your sink. If that's working, then you're likely dealing with the problem with the valve here. So the first thing you want to do is take off the handle. I've already loosened it, but it's just an Allen set screw that is up underneath here. I'll show you exactly where in a second. And I'll even do you a solid. If you have the exact same thing as I do, it is a 330 seconds Allen. So once you loosen that, this just slides right off like so. And you can see, maybe if I can get it to focus. Well, right there's the Allen. Man, look at the hard water I get here. It's awful. Calcium. Okay, so this little screw right here. Oh, where did I put my screwdriver? Unprepared. Okay, so this groove that's on the side of this screw here is what that set screw attached to. You're going to want to take that out. Then this piece here, this ring, has threads on the inside that screw to the cartridge and that holds this back plate on tight against the wall. So we'll take that out, you can see the threads. And then the back plate just pops right off. It's really important, make sure there's going to be a gap in the seal that it's at the bottom. That's so if any water gets in there, it can drain downward. Now you're looking at the cartridge. And a couple things of note before we go any farther. I've got to find a place to put all these tools. Is you get this little paper thing here, which I don't know if I can get out with gloves on. Maybe. This paper tells you what model your uh, valve is. If we can focus in on it. Light. Work with me. Work with me. Okay, you can see it says Fister, maybe. Oh, damn it. Never mind. But this little thing does have the model number. For instance, this one is 26000-0100. So if you have that same one, then you were looking at the exact same uh, valve you would get on yours. It looks just like that. And I will show you the replacement I already got. And I'll put a link in the description below. You can get this on Amazon. They're really not that expensive. The part number is a Fister 974-042. That's, whoa, 
more material. So here's what the entire piece looks like. I'll zoom out a little bit here. So that's what the new one's going to look like. You'll pay attention to these two seals here. So we're going to be looking for those when we take out the old one. There's another seal there. So that's the new one we're going to be putting in. You can see it's the exact same thing as that. So what you're going to have is these four screws. You're going to take those out, one kind of hidden under here, and then there's a metal bracket that's going to come off, and then hopefully this thing pops off with too much trouble. Make sure you do not want to lose those screws. That would be a huge pain in the ass. If you're worried about them going down the drain or anything, make sure to get it covered. Would help if you have a magnetic tip screwdriver. All right, as you can see, this ring's just going to pop right off. And then this might be stuck in there a little bit. You're just going to want to wiggle it and shake it up and down. And then it'll eventually come out. So there you go. There is... Oh, I'm going to zoom out here. There's the one I got. You know, the sad thing is I have a shower downstairs that probably has a valve that's 50 years old and works just fine. This with uh, one person using it for about five years and it's shot. So you want to make sure these two rings these two seals are actually in the back of this because otherwise they might be in the back of your valve in there and you want to make sure you get those out before you put the new one in make sure there's no debris in there anything that could be causing a problem and now we are going to put the new one in so exact same process just in reverse slide that puppy in there ring. Put these four screws back in. I like to get them all started first and then go back and tighten them. All right, so we are back in business, guys. You can see on my shower here, I have the, oh, I'm leaking everywhere, shower head that uh, works like that. So we're going to go ahead and turn the water back on before we get any farther, just to make sure this works. So you guys want to come with me to do that? Of course you do. <music> Here's my very professional installation of my pipes here. Um, it was supposed to be temporary, but like any project I do, I got it half done and then just stopped. So these are kind of just dangling here. But we need to turn the cold on. Hopefully we don't hear any water going, and we don't. And then we need to turn the hot on. I'm sure we're going to have some air in the lines, but... Let's go check this thing out and make sure it's working that we got hot and cold water. Let's go back to the shower. Alright guys, so we got the water turned back on. Time to do a little bit of testing. You can see I got the shower head here, and you can see the valve on the screen. We're going to try and aim it into this dang uh, bucket here and see how she works. Got cold water there, and all the way up to the hot water. Just 
there you go, guys. Fixing the cartridge. Guess I can turn it off. And for those of you that are interested, we can uh, finish slapping this thing back together. I probably shouldn't have put that back up there, but. Here for now. Okay, let's put it back together. So we're putting the back plate on. We're going to screw in the center piece that holds that plate on. Maybe. Yeah. Doesn't need to be real tight, but you do want that foam piece to press up against the wall to create a seal there. One other thing I wanted to mention, if I can find it, you're probably going to see a piece that looks something like this. It goes right on the end here. It's to control the hot water and how much how hot the water gets it is adjustable I just remove it completely because I don't want hot water so we got that back together need to put our little screw back in the, in the middle here snug it up doesn't have to be real tight our handle what was it? 330 seconds, I think I said, Alan. Alright guys, shower is done. All fixed, ready to go. One thing you might want to do while you're doing maintenance on your uh, shower is consider up at the shower head right at the joint where it comes out of the wall here there's going to be a screen there and since you're screwing around with stuff I'd take that shower head off and uh, soak uh, get the screen out of there maybe some needle nose pliers or real carefully with a razor knife uh, however you can get it out and maybe soak it in some lime away or some kind of uh, descaler type stuff just clean it up and um, yeah just while you're doing the maintenance anyways guys Make sure to give the video a like. Hopefully this helped you out. There's a link in the description below to the replacement valve, or cartridge they call it, that we replaced here in the video. Thanks for watching, guys.